you could say that you finished with those errands. All right. So we got a match. It's Karna versus Sophistafunk. 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 Okay. So we're starting up real, real like, real hot off the presses with Karna in our Karna, first match. Yeah, he's still hype. He's it's still still hype from the hype train, hyping, hyping up. It's gonna be an insane. I feel like it'll be a fast match. Dude, I think that that tournament that he won had like 100 people or so. Probably. So he's got he won enough to have enough to enter every single like. Shockwave for the rest of 2016. <laughs> I think, eh, I think maybe. maybe give or take a few bucks. Maybe, maybe. I'm There's probably a wrong. chance. I don't know if they make that much. I don't know. I'm not a math teacher. Yeah, <laughs> unlike some people. Uh, are there math teachers here? Dude, I, I know math majors here. Oh, that's gross. I think. Well, as long as okay. So I'm so glad because Aristo. What was it? Hold on. Sophistic. Sophistafunk. Okay, so he has like the name that would be associated with like a ballroom dancer yeah. that is also a break dancer, and I think Rosalina is an excellent break dancing uh, in her in her ballroom dance. Oh, I like that uh, he's got the tag Sophista uh, Funk, but then in game his tag is Astro Cat, yeah, which I, it just sounds like reminds me of like the Aristocats, like it's definitely that ballroom dance. Break yeah, two, hey, like, break there dance we go. Combination. Yeah. Did you notice? Did you see that that down tilt with the? Uh, there it goes. Oh, she's she's getting her groove on with her funk, sophista minin. You know. Right. <laughs> there it goes. So How sophisticated was that little up tilt? Sophista uh, sophista is doing a really good job of playing this matchup right now and not letting his Luma die. That's so true. That's true. In this matchup, if the Sheik can't take care of Luma, it's gonna look really in Rosa Luma's favor. But right. oh, that's if a dead, that's as a dead. soon as Sheik takes care of the Luma, the Sheik should be able to run a train. Like Run just a train by yeah. herself. Oh yeah. Yeah, she has uh, all the coal. She actually she needs. just becomes a conductor. Yeah, that's why she's covered. Like that's why she's dark, but she's covered in coal. Covered in coal. Yeah, that's that's her like uh, her way of disguising herself as well as her propulsion system. It's you know, it's a shame because it's charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's bad for the environment. Hank Hill not a fan. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, uh, but that's okay. Uh, but like as we're seeing again, it looks pretty even until the Luma's gone, and then. Karna definitely gets his chance to go in. Right. That's what he's really exactly, capitalizing. Exactly, exactly. But, but uh, Sophistafunk's doing a really good job of being like, hey, you know, I'm going to leave these boxes out until I get my Luma back, and then I can start being aggro again. Uh, he's a lot less uh, defensive than most Rosalinas when they I've got I've seen he's, that, yeah. He doesn't have this, like, really bad pattern where he'll start rolling and then jump in the air dodge. and He yes. waits, or he'll throw out a hitbox or something. He's, like, aggressively defensive. So on the other end, uh, uh, Krana, Kr Krana. Krana, according to the current typo, oh. has uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. typo is is he lives up to his name. <laughs> but uh, okay, so so uh, Karna, what he I've what I've seen him do that I don't see a lot of other Sheik mains do right. is use the grenade. I mean I mean the clock, a very effective. Yeah, <laughs> they use the clock. He, he's he's really good uh, at using Krana the clock. Krana is doing a really good job and uh, <laughs> he he does use the grenade a little bit better than most. That's and true. I Ooh. think that's because in Ooh. this matchup. He can, oh, oh did you no, see that? the okay. SD. No, 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 it wasn't an SD. It, oh. was, it was Luma who was left there, and then the bouncing fish bounced off of Luma after mm -hmm. hitting him, and that made it so that his uppy wasn't able to come all the way back. That's really, really interesting. That's really funky. I, think I feel like his oh, uppy, nice oh, good, uppy. good job. So much butter. He baited out that air dodge and then punished really, really well. And because Rosalina is so tall, even if she landed, yeah. she would still get the sweet spot. She, she was probably really popular in high school. She's so oh. tall. She played, yeah. played volleyball, actually. <laughs> That's yeah. where she gets all that th those tumbling ac acrobatics, and she's used to throwing a ball around. So she's like, "Oh yeah, this balloon star monster is pretty good too." And hopefully, her height will help her out a little bit in this match because right now she's behind a significant percent, even though Karna, you know, lost that stock in a really <laughs> unfortunate situation. Oh, Ooh. tried to go for the hard reads. Like the first stock looked relatively even. Oh, uh, that was a really good try on the back air. You can see that once Karna takes the first stock, he just you know, will build up all that extra credit. Oh, yeah, he has to. He has to. Yeah, she does really, really good Her six weeks grade wasn't that good, so she needs to yeah. get that extra credit going. All right. All right He's so doing a really good job of controlling the stage. He does not want to let Sophistafunk back to the center. Notice that uh, Sophistafunk is having a hard time getting out of shield options. Ooh, did you see that? The grenade yeah. put him in shield, and then Sophistafunk felt pressured, so he jumped out of shield. And, and then that's when he got the bouncing fish. fish. He likes just doing little things to the opponent's shield and then backing off or something. Yeah. To pressure him, like force an option and then punish. 
really good. Yeah, so that's that's one of the higher level things. So you, what you'll notice is, sure, you can shield pressure and all that, but in Smash 4, since shielding is relatively safe compared yeah. to other Smash games, what is a better option a lot of the time is to be like, hey, uh, what can I do to uh, to punish leaving the shield? Exactly. So what, what Karna did was, I'm going to wait, and then I've noticed that I, I've, I've kind of conditioned my opponent to be like, okay, I'm going to jump out of shield. I'm going to jump out of shield. And then this time he's like, from ground, I'm going to do a bouncing fish, bam, right when he jump out of shield. It's definitely something that he probably was taking note of the whole match. Is like, how does he get out of his shield? How does he, yeah, how does he, how does he like, does he just drop it? Does he jump? What is he choosing? Yeah, if he, there's out of shield options, but which one is he picking? If you go back and watch that, you'll notice Aristocrats didn't spend a lot of time in shield at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, he would tap shield and then he would do some aerial option like Nair, which stays out for a while, kind of like a, like a Lucas Nair. He's just like, bah, 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 has multiple hitboxes. Right. And if he were to catch someone with that, it pays off a lot. But let's see how they're going to change it up. Let's see if Sophistifunk can adapt and change his defensive play style, change how he gets out of that shield or when he's in it. And let's see if Karna does a better job of really taking care of Luma earlier on in the match so it's not so even in the beginning. How do you feel, because uh, you're a Sheik main, how do you feel about the matchup? Like, what is what what annoys you that Rosalina's do in this matchup? Uh, the, the, the biggest thing is just if you're they don't give you a chance to get rid of Luma and they keep the meat shield there, ah. like you can't really get grabs like you can in other matchups because once you grab, you're not safe. Luma will right. just hit Luma you. Luma will knock you out of that grab. Uh -huh. That makes sense. It's kind of like Ice Climbers. Right. Oh, and that's so a dead Luma. Then suddenly Sheik starts losing to shield. Right. But if you can deal with Luma and get her out of the picture, then suddenly you have a lot more options available to you and you can... Use them all to just destroy Rosalina and Luma. So it's all dependent on Luma, this matchup. <laughs> Look at all these Dazzly kicks. So fun. Ooh, really oh, good. Wow, Karna he, is killing that. He baited that so hard with the back throw to contort his hitbox so uh -huh. that Luma was not in the way, and then just dash attack, destroyed her. So Fistafunk is starting to panic when he's on stage. He is rolling, 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 rolling. And, you know, rolling's pretty good in this game, but, you know, you can still get caught up on it. Oh, yeah. They actually made a universal nerf in the last patch, a couple huh. frames of invincibility on everybody's rolls. Invincibility? Yep, they lost it for like two frames, I think. Oh, really? That's that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, they made rolls a lot more punishable. But see, even there, the grab wow, maybe could really have been smart. death against any other character. But now, not only do you have to space your hits, you have to space your grabs really well and make sure that the Luma is not close enough to break it. Right. It's, it, it's almost as if uh, Luma is acting as a disjoint. Even yeah. though she, uh, is it he or she? It's a he, yeah. It's, I think that it's a, uh, I think it depends on the color. It's just a star. It's a, you're right. Yeah, why, why are we trying to, why are we trying to personify a it, star? It's a star. You're right. It, it doesn't have a face or anything. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, it acts as a meat shield, like you said, and also acts as a disjoint. Using it as jabs. I haven't seen Aristocrat really uh, use the neutral B, which is kind of like that the the Luma launch. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. Where he can, he can be like, all right, go over out. there, make hitboxes over there. As you can see, Karna is doing a lot of spacing. That was a really good bouncing fish. Yeah. He's doing a lot of spacing, a lot of really quick movements. And uh, if he were to leave Luma out there and uh, kind of give up a little bit of uh, out of shield options or or you know grab options, mm -hmm. then but he could close off a, a portion of the stage. Which I don't know if uh, Sophistifunk is comfortable with that type of play style. Yep, but there's, uh, among Rosalina and Luma players, most of them actually keep the Luma close to them. But there is one, I forget the name, but there's there's one really, really, I think it's, I can't remember the name. There's a really, 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 really good Rosalina and Luma player who specializes in sending the Luma out and then using that to control the stage and just like play ping pong with the other character. Oh, yeah. But most of them, like the Buzz, will just keep Luma close and uh -huh. then use her as a shield because that's where I think she's like almost most effective. Yeah, right. Because without without Luma there to protect you, Rosalina is just like a giant target. Right. Really easy to take advantage of. Right. I think I think you know the best option is of course a, a mixture of both styles. That's definitely. when you got to get the most uh, viability out of it. Right. You definitely can't just pick one and stick with it the whole time because then it becomes predictable. Yeah, and especially against the caliber uh, like Karna, like he's he's one of our you know top three I'd say in DFW now. Even right. though he came here from H Town, but um, yeah, like Karna, he's gonna pick up on habits, and he's also gonna pick up on like on play styles. So if you're comfortable with something, he will make you feel like that is like the worst option after just a couple of like 
I'd say just a couple of minutes. Yeah. They'll be like, but why do I play like this? To be fair, on this stage, Rosalina's actually like it because... Oh, that was really good. Ooh, nice. Woo! They can keep Luma with them and then just chill under the platforms, and then that totally cuts off any aerial approach because huh. when they jump up, then they have to go through the platform to get to them, and then Luma's just there to, to keep them out. That's so true. So keeping Luma close actually covers oh, nice a juke. lot more. So Fistafunk is doing really great at the ledge, but he can't seem to get his footing on stage. As soon as he does, he's knocked around. But uh, Rosalina, Ooh, Ooh. really good. Just run off Bouncing Fish really smart, to really steal smart. that. Uh, man, it, so just, uh, uh, Karna really needed to land that because, I mean, Rosalina was getting real mad. Oh, yeah. She was like, I got to keep ballroom dance on you. And she's one of the characters you can kill really early with that up air. Insane. But definitely did a good job by Karna to close that out.